Majesty's Pride Chapter 18 Majesty All of my cats were waiting in the window for me. When they saw the box on my handlebars, they all ran to the door. I didn't put Mousy directly in the basket because he was so small. The box was too big to fit in the basket, so I set it on top and said, Adhere to make it stay. I opened the door and sat the box on the floor without saying a word. The cats all peeked inside of the box. Bertie tipped it over and rolled poor Mousy onto the floor. Who are you? Bertie said. She could barely contain her excitement. Mousy looked around at the older cats who were surrounding him and backed away. He tried to run back into the overturned box, but Macho blocked his path. You must be my replacement, Macho said. Femme and Isis looked at each other and said, What replacement? In unison. Taro scoffed. What are you talking about, boss? You aren't being replaced, especially not by this toddler. Femme patted Mousy on the head with her paw. Do you have a name, son? Mommy says I is a mouse, my new recruit said. I laughed and said, His name is Mousy. Nobody can replace you, Macho. You know that. And you know that I'm not immortal. I suppose we should start training the little squirt as soon as possible, Macho said. Osiris cleared his throat. Introductory text, please. I pulled five beginner's books off of my shelf and placed them on the floor. Bertie pushed Mousy toward the others. We have to learn how to be familiar so we can help Mommy do rich stuff, she said. Taro snorted. Familiar, eh? I thought it was familiar, but that'll work, 